I've been using social media for a long time. I've been using Facebook, uh, for example, when it, pretty much when it first came out. And I've come up with a, a simple scale to evaluate, uh, just even recently I've just come up with this, to evaluate my own content on social media in terms of whether it is truly good, and I mean good with a capital G. Does it uplift humanity? Does it add value to my audience? And does it help me to become a better person? And I want to share that with you and um, not, uh, not for us to go and judge other people's content, but for us to judge our own, uh, to evaluate our own so that we can keep improving. And the scale goes like this. On one end of the scale, I would, we could say it's zero points, is I need love. And I need love desperately. Will you please like, comment, share my thing? Uh, will you, um, and maybe just posting something to get a reaction, uh, to get comments, asking a question that we don't really care, not really curious about, maybe a tiny bit curious, but more like we're wanting the reaction and the comments and the shares and the, and the marketing power of it. Um, I, ironically, I say this because this is part of what I teach is marketing, right? But, I'm, but we can do marketing in a way that is higher, um, higher consciousness, uh, that really aims to uplift the world and make us better people instead of just doing something that's popular. So good social media content, what I'm talking about is not just popular. And sometimes it's not popular, but it's something that adds value to a few people in our audience that really does change their life, okay? And so that's a zero is I need love. And a five, zero, one, two, three, or five, on the other end of the scale, five would be here's some love. Here's some love unconditionally. I believe that this thing is so worth sharing. And I'm gonna share it with a loving intention in a way, and I, I, and, I, and I love you all so much, I'm gonna share it in a way that's easier for you to, um, to receive and consume. But I'm not gonna be concerned whether or not it gets your likes and comments and shares because it's unconditional sharing out of, out of my heart. And um, sometimes uh, the content we share is value adding, does help our audience, but um, do we find ourselves checking back on that piece of content to say, oh, I posted this you know, five minutes ago, uh, an hour ago, uh, you know, half a day ago, did it get any likes and comments and shares? And, uh, and if we don't, then we feel, we feel discouraged. And if it does, then we get, this, we get this rush. That kind of behavior moves us more and more towards posting content that says, I need love. Even though, of course, we don't want to go there. Um, be careful, be mindful, I should say, of why you're using social media. If we can all move towards the here's some love end of the scale, uh, a couple things will happen. One is we will become better and better people, I think. Uh, the world becomes better and better, more and more uplifted by the valuable and useful things we share. And also, in the long term, our personal brand becomes both authentic and um, people who are following our personal brand truly feel like we care, truly feel like we care. And, and isn't that really what we want? We want to really care for others and we want them to know that we care about them. So let's aim to move from the posting things that, that are, I need love, to posting things that are, here's some love, unconditionally. I don't, it doesn't matter to me whether you guys literally like, comment, share it but I'm doing this from a loving intention. I really think this is helpful or entertaining, uplifting, inspiring for you. And may it bless you. That's it, with no strings attached. Um, and I, and I'm, I, again, given that I teach marketing, I'm not saying you never post anything that's sharing about your services or your upcoming events and whatnot. But even in those kinds of sharings, it can be about love. It can be about, hey, I really believe this is gonna be helpful for this and that type of people. You know, no strings attached. I'm not going to be uh, attached to what the outcome is going to be, which is really the, the, the secret of truly spiritual work, is to share out of love and without attachment to outcome, but keep actively doing the work. Keep actively getting better and better at it. And if we do that, we will find that it happens that we do find success. So, um, an authentic success, I would say. I hope this is helpful. Um, usually I say I'm open to your comments and this, but as, as I'm also trying to move in that direction of here's some love unconditionally, 
I truly hope this is helpful no matter what. So until the next video, I wish you well and I wish you a fullness of heart uh, from your own spiritual practice, whatever that may mean, a fullness of heart that spills over into your actions, especially on social media. Be well.